This week, we're going elk hunting with the Eastman's 2020 Tag Hub Hunt Winner. Well, the only Missouri license plate I know would be Jared. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Guess I'm in the right place. Yes, sir. Nice Jared, to meet you. nice to meet you, Ike Eastman. Yeah. So you're from where in Missouri? Uh, I'm originally from Joplin, now live in uh, the Springfield area. Springfield, nice, mm -hmm. very cool. And uh, you're our 2020 Tag Hub win winner. Ironically, I joined the uh, Tag Hub because we were gonna do an over-the-counter unit, and you guys have, you guys have more statistics on that. Yep. And uh, plans changed, obviously. <laughs> well, you still use it, right? Still use yeah. information for next year or whatever. Yep. <laughs> Our sponsors drew together a package of stuff for you. So a ton of sick gear. So we've got coats and pants and light jackets and puffy coats and all kinds of stuff. I think there's even gloves in here. There's gloves in here. Right? So we'll be we'll put that to use this week. Um, have you ever heard of Swagger? Uh, yes. So. Swagger guys, Josh over at Swagger threw in three, so we have the shooting sticks, the bipod, and then their new um, steel banger that mounts right to the front of your gun, all on a just on a pick and tinny reel. Awesome. Yeti threw in a cool cooler. This is their newest. This is my this is my favorite cooler now. It's uh it's got a new lock system, and this sticks off and it sticks to the top, so you can use it as a bitch. Oh okay. yeah, so a stool. Turkey or whatever. It's great. Boys at uh, Everly Stock threw together a pack. This is my favorite backpack. This is the mainframe. It's got a gun scabbard in it. It's got, this is what they call a spike camp duffel. So you can un completely unzip and it's just a big pocket and it zips directly to the pack and then you can compression strap over the top. So that's cool. And then the big one. Sig Optics threw in a brand new pair of well, binos. Fantastic. Yeah. So really nice. Yeah. I can't believe all the stuff you guys gave me. I mean, I really appreciate it. <laughs> well, well, hopefully you probably have some duplicate stuff, but that's okay. Oh yeah. Hopefully you can fit all this in your car on the way home with I a bull elk. I'll, yeah, I think I'll be able to throw it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to me. You just let me know. I'll take it home for you. Okay. <laughs> well, I, again, I mean, I really appreciate it. It's, uh, uh, I mean, I can't really put it into words, but it's incredibly lucky to have this opportunity. And it's, yeah. well, I'm just glad you came. It's. Uh, it's gonna be fun. We'll be, we've been down here for a few days already, and they all have been screaming. In fact, the other night, one of the guys, uh, parked next to us, was trying to sleep, and there was an elk right standing out there by the propane tank, just screaming his head off, mm -hmm. like it's 3:30 bull, just going nuts. Wow. So I mean, I've never elk hunted before, so it's uh, all new to me. <laughs> I told my coworkers and friends that I'll just be spoiled for life after this. And yeah, I, I haven't paid my dues yet. I yeah. like, I don't deserve this. <laughs> That's all right. You know what I would do if I were you? There's, there's probably 300 years of elk hunting knowledge stuffed in this camp this week. I would be asking a ton of questions and learning as much as you can. A bit to the right, but that's it. Left. A little bit to the left. And high. Three inches.
cows in there. Oh wait, there. He's coming through the bottom. Almost into the end of the bottom bottom. I was worried you hit him high, but you hit him right at the top of the shoulder. Took his lungs out. I'm oh. so proud of you where he died. <laughs> Sweet. Congratulations. Yeah. Appreciate it. Nice work. Appreciate nice it. work. I was like, I, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's 29. Hmm. <laughs> like, not funny. You do that every time. I do. Okay. Pull that thing out of there. Lift it up. Well, this is our first morning hunt. Um, we've been hunting since last evening and it's been kind of quiet, um, you know, compared to normal. So we were out here glass in a bowl this morning and and we, uh, a tray was you know, using the cow call and we didn't really hear anything and we were getting ready to pack up and, and hike back back down and we heard a bull bugling from where we actually came from so we, we headed back and uh, this big bull was pushing these cows across the trail and uh, I mean it happened really fast but the, the shot worked out real well, double lung shot and he didn't go more than 50 yards. I mean I've never hunted out west before but with whitetails you know it's it's, uh, you know, it can happen, you know, in a, in a heartbeat, things change, and that's what happened this morning. Did you have your ears covered? No, I no. didn't think you were gonna shoot. Did I don't you... know if I jumped from the, the noise or the freaking impact of it, because I was directly at 45 with you, and I felt it hit my chest. Yeah. Wham! Well, Jared, congratulations on your first bowl ever here in Colorado. You're the 2020 Tag Hub winner. Um, it was awesome. Tell me about what happened. Well, it was kind of slow the first night, and uh, we were out here up on a ridge top. Uh, Trey was, you know, hitting the cow calls, trying to get some some elk to bugle back, and we didn't hear anything, so we were we were getting ready to head back down, and uh, we heard this elk bugle from the direction we'd initially come. He pushed these cows across an old logging road, and and it just happened, uh, you know, really fast from that point on. And 60 yards with a 300 or 200 grain bullet, it uh, did a number on him. He didn't literally didn't go 20 and died right there. It was, yeah, couldn't ask for a better setup. Well, congratulations. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching Eastman's and remember fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game.